Hello, hello, fierce Earthness family. Welcome back. All right, so I told I should quickly open this vlog. Okay, it's late night right now, and uh, we're going for a get together. Um, it's been, I think, 20 years, if I'm not 20 years or 20 plus, okay, since they all met together we're talking about military stuff right behind me you can see that so yes i'm going to give you more details i don't want to let the cat out of the bag like the whole cat okay so just take it i'm showing you the head of the cat <laughs> all right so yes um it's evening already so i'm going to try my best to cover as much as i can get and yes you're going to see life and direct when we get there so yes that being said all right come along with me let's kick it let's go <laughs> all right so i'm taking you to the island of crete like i always do but today we're going to a place called Calibus, and we are in a restaurant where we have the paratroopers from Malame. Now Malame is in the island of Crete in Hanya and the island of Crete happens to be the biggest island in Greece. So I'm going to show you the paratroopers from first division. As I was told it's been 20, 20 years plus since they've been in the military doing their thing, serving their country so on and so forth and they're having a party today. A few of them are Okay, so after much practicing, the name of the restaurant is Roglita. It is a traditional tavana and trust me, the food is so good. It is at the port of Calibes. So if you happen to find yourself in Calibes, in Crete Island, don't forget to stop by the tavana. The Greek words are very difficult, so I'm going to try to see how I'm going to get this. It's called Roglita. Roglita. Okay, if I don't get it right, I'm going to say it again i'm gonna do a voiceover and i'm gonna write it on the screen but anyways i'm gonna show you also that being said let me take you and show you the restaurant the owner of the restaurant is also one of the paratroopers in the first division many years ago so let's go right in and let's do this let's do this it's going down okay so welcome to tavana provlita in Calives. Crete Island, Greece. Now, this restaurant is actually situated in the port of Calives. Okay, that's where you're going to find the Provilta restaurant. If you're in Greece and you happen to book your hotel or your stay area around Calives, then please do not forget to check out this wonderful, amazing tavana. We call it a restaurant. But most times in Greece, they always call their restaurant Tavana so you will mostly see Tavana this, Tavana that, Tavana this. So here right in front of me is the owner of the Provilta restaurant and today he is hosting uh, the members of the first division of paratroopers in Malame. Okay it's been over 20 years since they all met so this is their uh, get together reunion their first their very first reunion okay it's been a very long time since they all met they are all not complete here but uh over 10 15 persons sitting all together like old days when they were younger when they were serving in the military when they're serving in the you know so it was just uh, a good fun day for them and they were just having fun talking making a whole lot of jokes so hence i am doing a voice over because yes something i want you to know about the greeks is they talk sleep if you know what i mean so a lot of the kind of words that they will use in their jokes are words that mm, youtube might not want to hear okay <laughs> it is in greek language but if you will translate it to other languages uh yes they are kind of strong words joke you know how mostly men as you can see mostly men sitting here and something else i wanted to say to you is i couldn't start filming from the moment i got here because the restaurant was full a whole lot of rest um sorry I said restaurant. a whole lot of tourists were still seated having their dinners okay 
now that they're still yes it's september but there's still lots of tourists in the country and most people love to just sit in the evenings and take a walk at the port being that this is situated by the port and you just have it is so beautiful okay you can hear the sounds of the waves you can see the fishes swimming by and then when the moon is coming up it was fantastic i took a video but i don't know i lost that clip and it's so annoying okay the moon just came out it was almost like it was coming out from the sea and it was all red and it came out like so big and looked so close and then it started going up and changing color and it was so beautiful i got the whole video but transferring it to start editing i could not find that particular video the moon video is the only one that was missing but anyway sometimes things like this happen okay so like i said this is in crete island the greeks call it crete and it is the biggest island in greece different parts of greece different fun stuff so on and so forth but on this channel we take you around crete because that's where we are so at this point the owner of the restaurant brought in some people to do you know a little bit of show to entertain the uh guests people in the restaurant eating and all of that and his friends also or his military friends if i'll call, call it that so yes now i almost missed this because i was sitting with my back facing the road that you see is actually the road because the, the restaurant is right on the road at the port so I almost missed this, but what got my attention was I noticed three tourists were standing outside with their phones up and I was like, they must be filming something. At first I thought they were taking photos of themselves and then I noticed they were pointing at the direction and I was like, okay, let me turn my head. So I turned and I was like, oh my goodness, I can't miss, miss this. So I picked up my camera. So sorry that my hands were shaking. We were all seated close on the table. That's how the Greeks love to sit when they are organizing events, even at weddings. There's a way they arrange their tables so people sit all together. They still have that traditional, you know, vibe where they put the plates and everything all together. Everybody tip their hand and that is just a traditional thing, okay? And it's more in the islands. If you go to any of the islands in Greece, you will see that. So I had to wiggle my way out of the table. So sorry for the camera shaking and I hope you don't you don't pass out because <laughs> my hands were shaking a whole lot. But yes, this was a great, fantastic performance from this duo, okay? A lady and a guy. They did a fantastic uh, job with the fire thing. And then afterward, they went around, you know, you know, you just drop whatever you want to drop. But then if you feel like it's not a must, it's not by force. Okay, right here, the owner of the restaurant is coming to uh, his people to tell them about it, asking them, did you even watch or you're just here talking and talking and talking? A whole, like I said, so much food on the table. I really didn't want to put the camera on the table because I'm meeting this set of people for the first time. My husband happens to be a military man also. He's one of them seated there. But I'm meeting his military set of people for the first time. So I didn't want to put the uh, this thing so close to the table. So I couldn't show you all the foods. But trust me, the food was good. We have different lobsters prepared in different sauce, fried garlic sauce and all of that. Uh, octopus name it fish but just anything sardine the food was good it was it was really really good the tavana trust me you will not regret it if you are in calibres and you stop by tavana provita to eat you will not regret it it is so so good okay it is so good the food is good i also went to the toilet clean well clean hygiene top notch everything is just on point the service on point the waiters are so polite so jovial so jovial playing you know just helping you in any way they can so you're not even going to feel like oh these people are rude or one thing one thing one thing what not you're just going to have a fantastic time dining at tavana provilta okay that being said a whole lot of jokes were going on on the table they were talking about when they were in the military their training their drills and so on and so forth and it was just so fun they were teasing each other and all okay so yeah right here the owner of the restaurant after much drinking of traditional wine he brought vodka and whiskey okay now the greeks they have their own traditional wine so that's what they serve their dinners with when you go to a greek restaurant or a greek tavana which you will find the crassi 
which is the Greek wine. They have the white wine and the red wine, okay, which is the Greek crassi. Then after you finish having your dinner, they will now bring a small bottle of uh, like a gin, okay, which is called chikulia. Uh, That's what they call it, chikulia. And you can have a small, a shot of chikulia to cool you down before they will now serve you fruits. Most of them bring like grapes and so on from their own farm, okay? Grapes, watermelon, and name it. We'll now give you that. But here, after doing all of that, he brought out vodka and whiskey, ice, glasses, water, um, uh, soda, like lemon drink and Coke and all of that. Mix the way you want to mix. So now it's time for everybody to even drink more and get high. Can you guess what I took? Of course I went with the vodka. That was cool. Okay, that's me here. Yeah, after drinking my vodka, feeling all good because it was getting cold. Remember, we're sitting at the port, but after downing my vodka, it felt good. Okay, so at this point, they were about to take photos and my camera started misbehaving. So I'm like, I'm not going to miss this moment. So I decided to take a video instead. All right, so they were all having fun, making jokes. Who's going to stand here? Who's not going to stand here? And all of that. So that's, that's, what, they, that's what they did. And... Um, uh, all of that. So yes, that's that being said. Okay, sorry for that interruption. Mom's live recording and kids have to interrupt. Okay, so at this point, they are all standing outside trying to take photos. So it's already around past 1 a.m. and so persons have to leave and like we were going to drive about an hour drive to get to where we came from. So some of us were leaving around 1 but the rest of them were still going to chill for a longer time because they all came from different parts although some of them stay in Calibes also so yes they were still so here is one of them showing them that yes I still have it on they are cheering him on telling the other people who kept down girls and girls see if you can still do push-ups and so on and so forth so yes this guy right here was able to give us the double hand and a single hand push-up showing us that yes once a soldier is always a soldier and this is really good okay these people you see here they're all over 50 so yes to see that they can still go down and give a good push-up bravo